You're listening to the Fabricating Fiction Podcast. This is Arc Elk, Part 1. Have to, I'll just have to huff it. What was, what was that? Come on, you're losing it, Sam. Get it together. There's nothing there. This is silly. Ridiculous, even. Nothing like that could actually exist. Could it? Man, I can't... You know, pick it up your phone. Hey, it's Mike. Sorry I can't come to the phone right now. I'm probs busy or doing something awesome. Anyway, leave me a message. Hey, Mike. I lost you in the woods. I'm headed back to the camp now. Look, man. This is going to sound a little silly, but I just want to stay on the phone while I head back. I, I thought I saw something, but when I looked, it wasn't there. It's just it's nothing. Did you see it? I mean, we only looked at each other for a moment, but when we parted, I, I could have swear I saw the question in your eyes. D- did you see it? Or am I just crazy? I don't know. Maybe, maybe this is just me projecting my fear onto you so I can find a, a way to talk about this. <laughs> uh. Listen to me. I'm a trained psychologist applying my trade on myself. That's rule number one, Mike. Never diagnose yourself. All right, Mike, then you diagnose me. You might laugh, or you might get a kick out of this when you get it on your voicemail, but I don't care, man. I'm I'm freaking out up here. This was your idea to go hunting in the frozen Canadian wilderness. It let us tap into our primal side, you said. Maybe there'll be a paper in it, you said. Well, I'm here in Canada holding a hunting rifle while the sun sets and I don't have any brilliant paper concepts coming to mind, Mike. Voicemail time limit reached. Dang it! Buff. Is anyone there? Show yourself. Fine, you're not going to pick up. Hope you're getting a good laugh out of this, Mike. Okay, something else keeps coming to mind. I have this story that just keeps refusing to leave my brain. It's locked into my conscience or my subconscious like a, you know, like a crashed vehicle blocking traffic over a bridge. Nothing else seems to be getting through. So maybe if I just get it all out... On your voicemail, my mind will clear up. I don't know if it's a story I heard, but can't remember. Or maybe I picked it up somewhere on our way up here. That diner slash gas station, maybe. They all definitely seem strange enough. What was it they called it? They called it, uh... Arc Elk. That's what they called it. It's large. Almost double the normal size. 
Oh, oh, oh yeah, they, they said it's almost identical to a, a moose, with one exception. It has a third eye on its forehead. What would a moose need with a third eye, you ask? It's just a harmless foraging bovine animal, right? Yeah, except it's not. The arc elk is carnivorous by nature, but holds no aggressive abilities. Its antlers are dull and only for defense or dominant male posturing. No sharp ends to gore its prey. Its hooves are heavy, and although it might raise them to defend with possible deadly results, the wasted energy to lift his large legs would put him just as much in danger by exhaustion. So I suppose that's one downside. Its hide is thick and able to last for as long as needed in the cold of night. In a battle against the elements, the arc elk would always win. A well-placed shot would down the creature easily, yeah. That is, if a hunter could spot one long enough to take aim. As the legend goes, no hunter could maintain a focused lock on the creature for any amount of time or from any distance. You could be perched along a mountaintop 400 yards away, and the moment you set your scope on the blasted thing, it would turn and look right at you with that dreadful third eye. Suddenly you get confused. Your speech would slur while you became dizzy, like, like you had too much moonshine or something. As you fell to your side to sleep it off, you'd think, <laughs> I must be dreaming this or something. Nothing like that could actually exist. Could it? I'm so tired. Look, Mike, that's it. That's all I got. Good news. I can see the campsite fire from here. So I'm going to reserve my air for the last leg, you know? I'm going to book it. I'm going to run to you as fast as I can. You, you and I can get a good laugh out of this tomorrow, okay? A good laugh. All right. See you in a few minutes, buddy. <laughs> All right, Sam. Joke's over, buddy. You sent that message yesterday, and I'm not looking to spend the whole week here freezing in snow by myself. Not to mention that was the third message you sent. This whiskey only takes you so far. Freaking myself out. Getting my own head a little too much. <laughs> uh. <clears throat> Ooh. That, that moonshine really hits you if you're not oh, prepared for it. that one off a little bit. Don't worry, buddy. Don't, don't worry, Sam. I'll, I'll just be waiting by the fire here, buddy. Our <laughs> elk. That's stupid. <laughs> Thing like that could actually exist. Good. <laughs> 